Hej, hej. <clears throat> oh, I just I just realized something. I forgot notifications work differently on YouTube than they do on Twitch. So that's that's not going to send out a notification. Oh, we got ourselves a secret stream. I, I'm curious though. Does that roll over? Yeah, 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 yeah. So there, there won't be a notification yet, if at all. This will be an interesting case study. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, there won't be a notification because YouTube treats stream and videos the same. So since I uploaded at like 11.30 last night, it can't do a no another notification until then. So I'm curious if at 11.30 it'll send it out or no. Interesting. Well, we'll see how she goes. Well, oh, thanks for the re-membership, Fire. Yeah, a little secret stream here. So let's see what happens then. So it'll be about 30, 40 minutes until it's exactly 24 hours since the last one. And then I wonder... We'll see, we'll see. We're going to get very experimental here. You got a notification. No, you didn't. You couldn't have. <clears throat> Welcome aboard. Can. This is the alien website with all the declassified UFO shit. Thoughts on the changes to YouTube creators and ads. Oh, I caught the gist of it. Let me look it up and I'll look into it. They're taking away what ad they're taking away creators ability to choose what ads play, right? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, thanks for the fifteen. Morris. YouTube creators won't be able to individually select if pre-roll, post-roll, skippable, and non-skippable ads appear in new videos. YouTube is making some noticeable changes to ad controls available to creators. Beginning in November, YouTube is dropping individual ad controls in YouTube Studio for pre-roll, post-roll, skippable, and non-skippable, according to a support document from the company. E. Yuck. That's disappointing. I don't even see the point of that. I, why even take that away? That actually makes no sense. <clears throat> that makes legitimately zero sense. Well, I mean, I guess it, it does make sense because the YouTube will G YouTube will be generating more money if every ad plays when there is creators that choose not to put every ad on there. So they're, I guess, leaving money on the table in their eyes in that case. I want a quick text message. Okay. Yeah, the night the night is only just getting goofier. 
we're in an experimental situation here with how YouTube treats notifications. And no, it's not YouTube being dumb. It's me not knowing how YouTube streaming works. Thanks for the five Hades. Since I uploaded at like 11.15 last night, that means I can't have a stream notification go out till at least 11.15. Or 11.30, whatever the fuck it was. So if at 11.15 or 11.30 it doesn't go out, then, then we know it's not a rollover situation. And then I want, eh, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna really, <laughs> we're gonna get pretty in-depth on it then. Because then I wonder how that affects tomorrow. Does this count? Or no, because a notification couldn't get sent out. Oh yeah, that shit was super goofy, oof, I saw all that. And of course I've listened to Frank Z. Yeah, we talked about the gender reveal plane crash. That's the second plane crash at a gender reveal party. And it's gonna keep happening. Gender reveal parties are still remarkably dangerous for no reason. Instead of hiring a pilot to do a stunt for your gender reveal, why not just cut a fucking cake? I promise you, your friends and family don't, don't care that much. Narcissists. I think the new Five Nights at Freddy's movie will be fun bad. Welcome aboard, Colt. And good luck, Lonely. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> and yeah, Kevin, that was very unlucky. <clears throat> cutting a cake is boring, though. What's more fun, cutting a cake or an IED going off? You're right. I mean, when you're right, you're right. I remember the Brazilian gender reveal party that ruined a natural water supply by tinting the water blue. I didn't know that was Brazil, but yeah, I know what you're talking about. That was only like two weeks ago. Welcome aboard, Venus. Did you hear about the Aaron Rodgers UFO experience? Sounds like a ride at Disney's Epcot. What's the Aaron Rodgers UFO experience? Oh, this, he, this just happened today. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Jets. Oh, okay. Jets Aaron Rodgers recalls UFO encounter on Hard Knocks finale, like a scene out of Independence Day. If it was a scene out of Independence Day, you wouldn't be here talking about it. You'd be dead. You would be. You would be dead. Maybe a scene out of like Rick and Morty or something with some interdimensional time traveling aliens or some shit. Welcome aboard, Caliber and Clovis. Aaron Rodgers is fast approaching his anticipated primetime debut as the Jets' new quarterback. In the meantime, the star signaled caller returned to TV on Tuesday for the final episode of this year's Hard Knocks. While Rodgers took more of a backseat in this one, at least in terms of on-field material, he still managed to steal the show with a mid-episode dive into UFO stories. So it's 2005. I was getting ready for the draft, and I was out in New York with college friend and teammate Steve Levy. We had this great dinner at his house in Jersey. I was making my way to bed. I had like a 5 a.m. wake up. And as I was getting down to bed, I heard this alarm in the distance going off. And it didn't just seem like normal. And I heard some rustling downstairs. We had this great dinner at his house in Jersey. Yeah, I saw that, Aqua. I was making my way to bed and I had like a 5 a.m. wake up. I really like the facility they're in, especially for a UFO story. The only thing they need now is a voice changer and a silhouette for Aaron Rodgers. And that could have been a huge reveal, too. They really blew their load here by just showcasing it being Aaron Rodgers off the bat. They could have built a lot of suspense. And nothing too crazy, Rebby. 
And no, I don't think so, David. Uh, and I was I was getting down to bed. I heard this alarm in the distance going off. Uh, it just didn't seem like normal. Welcome aboard, Cinema. Downstairs, so I got up, walked downstairs. It was a beautiful night. And Steve and his brother and I walked outside, and up in the clouds, you know, we we heard this sound and we saw this tremendously large what object moving through so the, the the object was blasting the siren day when uh, the ships are coming into the atmosphere and they're creating this like uh, kind of explosion type fire in the sky <laughs> well, why would they be sounding an alarm unless it was like an invasion that's not stealthy at all What do you sincerely believe intelligent extraterrestrials may appear may physically appear like? I've I've said that a lot in Sectoid. And I watch it dub right now. I'm watching One Piece in dub. No advice teams except just keep getting out of your comfort zone and eventually it'll start to feel a lot more natural. The more you do it, the better you'll get at it. saw this incredibly large object and froze as anybody would because you know what the hell was going Welcome on aboard, Tempest. and eventually went out of sight and nobody said a word you had a dream is what this sounds like we just stood frozen the three of us on the front stoop of, the, of Steve's house Beep. and about 30 seconds later we heard the real recognizable sound of fighter jets going <gasps> shit that seemed to be chasing this object um, and again we just stood there in just disbelief for another few minutes nobody said a word and then we all kind of looked at each other like did we just see what we think we just saw <laughs> I always hate that when it in, in storytelling where you see something like crazy and no one says anything that's so unrealistic I've seen a lot of crazy shit with people. You know what you'd immediately do when you see some crazy shit? You call attention to it. You say things. No one stands frozen. Like, that doesn't happen. Especially not with aliens. You'd be like, what the fuck is that? Holy shit! Nobody, nobody is just gonna sit there and be like... Hey, happy birthday, stop motion. Hope you had a good birthday. And no, I haven't heard of them before, Enigma. I know that's a huge genre of content on Instagram, though. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Zane. That's super weird. What was that? Eventually, you know, 20 minutes later, we kind of wound down a little bit and went back to bed. And then you're still not really sleeping. You just experience this bizarre experience. We looked in the papers and, the, and online the next few days, and there was nothing about it. That got me into researching more about UFOs. The siren or alarm had been from a nuclear power plant, which is about nine miles away. Ah, okay, so it wasn't you them know, blowing their horn. Sightings around nuclear energy, around volcanoes, around power plants. But yeah, Steve and I, uh, great friends, teammates, and also witnessed whatever the hell it was. I don't know, but it was definitely identified. It was definitely flying. Definitely a large object. You mean unidentified, dummy? If it was identified, we'd know what it was. Idiot. Make me sick. Hey, no worries at all, Venus. Hope you're doing well. Yeah. Uh, I, we've talked about that quite a bit, Truth. And Vince Vintage just posted an update on Twitter not long ago. I did a whole tier list for the all the anime I've ever watched. Bleach is on there. I think there's only a few good arcs in Bleach. And by a few, I mean I think there's only like two or maybe three good arcs in the original Bleach. Thousand Year Blood War is going hard though, so that's really saving it. 
Thanks, Frank. And appreciate it. Welcome, JC. <clears throat> you hear about the Dallas airline passenger who had explosive diarrhea resulting in an emergency landing? Yeah, that must have been the most miserable experience for everybody on that plane. And the photos from it really make my heart break for anyone that was even near that plane. I don't know how you fix that. Like, how do you even clean this? It'll never be truly holy again. Where's the pictures? Oh, here we go. If it's just a, a biohazard issue, I, you know, we've had a passenger who had diarrhea all the way through the airplane, so they want us to come back to Atlanta. Yeah. Like, you just can't get that out. That's going to be a big part of that plane for the rest of its existence. That's just too much poop per square foot. And yeah, I've seen that prime. And uh, I haven't seen a rap battle in a long time. Those are kind of out of fashion, unfortunately. And I don't know anything about highlight vapes. I probably won't moist meter Baldur's Gate. It's already been out for a while, and I still haven't finished it yet. But I do really like it, and I think that's probably going to be game of the year, rightfully so. Eh, maybe not an F tier, but certainly low, for sure. Thanks for 10, Gumbo. Yeah, I heard Chris Chan's back. <laughs> I, I can't believe it, to say the least. I, I can't believe it. Thank you for the five gifted members, Exco. And Banks feet. Chris Chan is actually back. Yep. Back home now. Wild. Simply wild. Did you see Antonio Brown finally admitted to having CTE? Yeah, but everyone always knew that. I think even he, didn't he call attention to it a while back too? That's not new. What's my favorite kind of soup? Probably chicken and wild rice. Thanks for the gifted member, Bailey. I thought it was extremely disappointing, Venus. Lightfall was a big disappointment. That raid, I will never forget. It was so sad. Yeah, Lavender Town was a lot of fun. Did you hear of the dad who drove drunk and rolled over? His son was sitting in the back with no seatbelt and passed away. I didn't hear about that, but unfortunately that shit's happening every day because for some reason people still drive drunk. And for some reason, people still... This is very topical. Some people still don't think it's a big deal. So, a streamer last night in the Melee community, his name's Bobby Big Balls. He was doing a stream where he went to, like, 7-Eleven. And on his way back, he just takes a swig of alcohol straight from the bottle and then drives home. Like, on stream, in the car, he just got banned for it. It's an indefinite ban, so there's no telling how long it is. But, but fucking why? And what's crazy is he was only six minutes away from his house. It was, like, right... Like, it, it was, like, inside his neighborhood. And he just couldn't wait six minutes to just drink then. There's just no fucking reason to drink and drive. Even if you're not immediately hammered, it's still bad. Welcome aboard, man. Yeah, I know Steve Harwell passed away. 
What's the most out-of-pocket food in Florida? Gator Bites. And yeah, I still play Yu-Gi-Oh, so I'll probably do more Yu-Gi-Oh stuff down the line. And appreciate it, Limo. And I did see the video of that girl that got arrested because she wouldn't get out of her dad's car, so she kept making a big, big fucking scene out of it. Of course I'll play the Elden Ring DLC. I heard that, William, so that's nice. But it wasn't enough to get me go to go in. You see that Hurricane Lee might reach Category 5 this weekend? Yeah. Which, which video game zombie apocalypse would be the hardest to survive? Any of them where they run fast? I don't know, there's so many. Probably Left 4 Dead, actually. Thanks for the gifted member, man. And thanks, Ina. And hope you had a good day, Rebby. What do you mean, deadass? Uh, a name for what? Welcome aboard, duck. Because just do Cliff. I've been defaulting to Cliff in a lot of things. Like if I need to write down a name for something. Did you see the video circulating of people freaking out when they first banned drinking and driving? <laughs> no, no. Do they have footage of that? I want to see. Let me see. People in the 80s react to new... Lo it wasn't until the 80s that they, like, banned drinking and driving? What? And I do use one pace mostly. Aizen was a cool villain, but he's not like my favorite villain ever. There's no way it was the 80s. Put in a hard day's work, put in 11, 12. Look at this. Let me take a peek. Put in a hard day's work, put in 11, 12 hours a day, and then get in your truck and at least run one or two beers. They're making it laws where you can't drink when you want to. You, can't, you have to wear a seat belt when you're driving. <laughs> Pretty soon we're going to be calling this country. Man. The years change, but the people stay the same. Holy lord. You hear this right now on Twitter. <laughs> it is crazy. I know people like to think that as time progresses, people get smarter. We are legitimately exactly the same intellectually as people probably a thousand years ago. The only difference is we, had, we have more technology. Thanks to a few smart people. Thanks, thanks for a long time of watching then, Zim. Appreciate that. Thanks for the 20. And thank you, deadass. Hey, Jordan. Thank you for the five gifted members, Grimes. Y'all Floridians can't drive for shit. I'm a trucker. I just passed through Tampa, and y'all are terrible. But beautiful town. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. Fair. Do you see the Danello Caval Cavalcante prison escape? What makes it so special? Oh, this is brand new. Oh my god, this is fresh off the press. Let's see. Oh, do we'll just do Cliff there then, deadass. Or Patriot. Both of those would sound cool. Thanks for the 20, Lalt. Did you see Nina Adgal sued Dylan Danis? Oh, the restraining order? Yeah. Thank you for the five gifted members, Clovis and Twilight. And welcome aboard, Arrow. He escaped from a, a developing story tonight. An inmate who escaped from a prison in Pennsylvania has been spotted on surveillance video. Authorities believe the man was seen walking through a yard next to the woods, and they believe that man is Danilo Cavalcante. He escaped from prison Thursday after being convicted in How'd he do it? for killing his ex-girlfriend, stabbing her multiple times. Jesus Christ. The sighting took place two miles from the prison. Police say it's one of four confirmed sightings of the man. The most recent was yesterday when a state trooper tried to... You said there was security camera by. footage? And now authorities are increasing their presence in the area. Mm -hmm. There are more than 100 investigators searching for this guy. They aren't sure... Let me see. Did he do some kind of crazy escape to get out of there? Like some Lego Master Builder shit and made a ladder? 
Where's the footage? Let me try security footage. Okay. Convicted murderer Danilo Calavacante escaped from a prison exercise yard by climbing up a wall. Take a look at this video. It was released today oh during a Whoa. press conference. Calavacante was in an exercise yard last Thursday wow. morning when you can see him walk into the back. Court, <laughs> then That's cartoonish. Up the entire wall. Once he got to the top, the acting warden says he had to push through two sections of huh. razor wire to get out. That wire had just been installed after an earlier escape back in May. Wow. Now a guard That's at the prison pretty impressive. Was in an observation tower at the time has been put on administrative leave as this is all investigated. Meanwhile, state police are reporting another sighting of Calvacante. This time the escapee was spotted by that, a resident. He absolutely just learned that from like Mario 64. Or Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. Jesus. I can't... I can't believe that actually worked. Nobody stopped him? I understand the guard got put on administrative leave, but nobody else saw this? What the fuck? So now a murderer's back on the streets out there. Yeah, no, he did scale it with just his hands and feet. Welcome aboard, bunny. That is crazy. And I'd say it's probably worth at least trying, Jose. If you have any interest in it, you can give it a whirl. There's no reason not to. Favorite song you can't stop listening to? Pretty much anything by Deftones I can still listen to, even though I've heard them all a hundred times by now. Appreciate it, Seth. And thanks, Connor. Welcome aboard, morning... Morning, morning bong rips and king. And appreciate the Tony Odyssey. Hey, no worries at all, Luck. Welcome. Oh yeah, I love Deftones. They're still probably my favorite band. I go through phases where my favorite band changes. So for a while it was Rise to Fall, then Cybreed, and now back to Deftones. Deftones is just one of the very few bands where I heard them when I was legitimately a child and have never stopped listening to them and never got tired of any of their music. And now I haven't been watching Ah uh, Ahsoka. Star Wars is kind of lost my interest the Karen that threw her puppy at a man is an old video it has a happy ending though because the guy actually takes on the like takes in the dog and they're taking great care of him and I haven't kept up with Kay's cooking in a while welcome aboard Dangerfield and I have not heard of that band before Abaddon Should listen to Sweet Nothing by Coletta. I'll cue it up. Oh, you have a good night as well, Scooter. <laughs> have you listened to Crosses, Gino Moreno's side project? Yes, I have. I've heard pretty much everything. From that man. I think he's an incredibly talented vocalist. He's like one of the inspirations behind the way I sing most of the gentleman music. I try and get that like really breathy like <clears throat> passion is probably not the right word for me because <laughs> the way my voice sounds but that very oomphy tone very whispery I think it's just such a great sound. You know the band Fugazi? It sounds familiar, but I couldn't tell you any of their songs. Hey, glad you like Plague Seeker and Godslap. Fuck yeah, Bailey. Why'd you not stream the Apex games? Because I was out today. We're setting up for the uh, live event for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so we've had a lot going on. So I also won't be streaming them tomorrow either, so we'll start on Friday. But yeah, the boys did amazing in the second round today. They played incredibly well.
That's fine, JC. I think Final Fantasy 16 has a lot of great stuff about it, but a, not, a lot of not great stuff as well. I don't think it's perfect or anything. You see the girl who smashed TVs in Walmart? Yep, she got arrested, right? This was quite an exhilarating prank. Yeah, this one. They got me fucked up. You hear me? Man, it's quiet. You brought the TVs up? Um, no. Oh, I'm gonna find out. I brought that TV from my house. All right, me too. Very cool. Yeah, it is a shame Cybreed broke up. They were an incredible, incredible group. I'm wanting to start watching One Piece. Should I start with live action or OG? I'd say probably OG because live action does change a lot. So if you really want to get into One Piece, you should probably at least watch some of the anime. But I think you could probably also get away with just watching the live action and then filling in some of the blanks. If you don't want to go through like the beginning. Welcome aboard, Jordan. Nah, I'm not doing that breezy. I haven't played Apex in a while. I'm trash now. And thanks, Neon. The stabber guy lives in my area. Oh, the, the uh, criminal who escaped like this? Hey, well, just make sure none of your walls outside your house or anything are too close together so he can't scale up onto your roof or something and rappel down. Stay safe. It definitely not. I, I, I will never like flying. This for everybody. So oh, something oh, I noticed real I quick. This tattoo she has is legitimately a default tattoo from Pinterest. I knew I'd seen it before somewhere. Is this a trend? To just copy Pinterest tattoos? It's the same thing. So this is just one of those templates. That's crazy. Lions and clock faces is a trend. Why though? Welcome board Shadow. Yeah, I've been really enjoying it, Rogue. I use Pinterest for inspo, but it's common to just steal tattoo designs. I mean, I also used Pinterest for inspiration for tattoos as well. But it, I never went one-to-one -one with it. That just seems kind of worthless. <laughs> That's... I don't know, it just doesn't make too much sense to me. It does... I, I, it... It definitely gets better the more you watch of it, but if you're not enjoying it, it's not worth pushing through. Like you, you, sh you there's no shame in not finishing it if you didn't enjoy it. And have I heard of the popular animal chiropractor, Bone Hands Animals? You see the guy that does like neck adjustments on dogs. My favorite anime is Code Geass, because I have seen that lunatic. And fair enough, Lynn. Godspeed. Is there a chance for a ghost rare claw machine pickup from your Yu-Gi-Oh collection? Sure. I have quite a few duplicate ghost rares. What tattoos do you have? All I see is written literature created by others. What does that mean? Mine are usually just designs that I thought were cool. So my buddy who's... well. Two of my buddies that are tattoo artists took that and designed differently based on it. And then I do have a clock on my chest and then one on my back. Because time is a very interesting concept. I got real into that for a while. And that's fair. Bleach... Again, I think only has a couple of good arcs. OG Bleach, that is. Not Thousand Year Blood War. That one's going hard. Welcome aboard, Cody and Alex. Two clocks is crazy. Well, they're different clocks. They're not the same clock. 
and there is a different time on them. Like, it's, it's not just the same clock. Shit, I might get another one. Just out of spite. Fuck you. Two clocks is not crazy. It's cool. Vinland Saga is amazing. Yeah, glad you liked it. And no, I don't know who that TikTok guy is. Of course I know about LTG. Have you seen Betty McDonald video going around? That's not very descriptive. Like, what is it? Bro thinks he's Timekeeper from Spy Kids. What a, what a ridiculous reference. What's her name? Betty... Betty what? Betty McDonald's. Mm. Betty McDonald was a, an actress who died in 1958. What do you mean she's going around right now? Do they exhume her corpse or something? Like what, her, her grave? Like what do you mean? Thanks for the tin, Roman. I'm extremely sorry to hear that, Ash. I'm wishing you the absolute best of luck. The best of luck. Stay strong and Godspeed. We're rooting for you. Hope it all goes well. And you hear about the Utah woman accused of killing her husband and kids and then wrote a book about how to deal with grief. Yeah, we covered that a while ago. I might do that, Tommy. I know, I was surprised too. Live action One Piece was actually good. And thank you for the 20 gifted members, Abaddon. Goddamn. Thank you for that. Get all of the time zones tattooed. Brother, that is not cool. My clock tattoos are very cool. You see about the Florida man who got arrested for trying to run from Florida to London in a giant hamster wheel today? Yeah, and that's what I... <sighs> It just goes to show you what's wrong with this country. You can't even just go on your own little adventures anymore without Big Brother stepping in and telling you no. Like, whatever happened to freedom? Can't take my giant inflatable hamster wheel and cross the Atlantic? The government just wants to control every aspect of our lives. It's ridiculous. Freedom ain't free anymore. These poor patriots, these Florida intellectuals, they couldn't complete their task. Literally 1984, yeah. Ridiculous. Did you see the, f did you see the fish that an 11 year old caught with human teeth? <laughs> no, I can't say I saw that. Yeah, we just talked about the diarrhea pr diarrhea plane. Yeah, you're welcome to do that, Abaddon. No problem at all. They saved his ass from a burial at sea. They saved him from a grand adventure, is what they did. Don't speak about them like they're heroes. They surely would have crossed the Atlantic in there. I actually didn't read about it, though. Was this for, like, a YouTube video? Florida man was arrested after trying to run to London across the Atlantic Ocean in a homemade vessel re resembling a hamster wheel. Officials said the 44-year-old marathon runner refused to leave the vessel for three days. Whoa, wait, what? How much food did he pack? Three days he spent in there? That's like Jack Sparrow on the island in the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Mr. Bellucci has tried three similar voyages before, all of which ended in Coast Guard intervention. This man is determined. Just let him go. He's, he's got it figured out. He'll be fine. Plus, let's think about it this way. Let's say he does go out there and, you know, maybe things get a little hectic. Maybe a hurricane starts to form. Luckily, he's got the hamster wheel and all the fins on it. He can start running in the opposite direction of the hurricane and dissipate it. He could do us a huge favor. This guy could be a legitimate hero to us. We got hurricanes forming every goddamn day now. Oh, 
<laughs> born in the wrong time. <laughs> True. <laughs> The makeshift contraption he was using is shaped like a wheel with paddles. They're designed to propel it forward. Based on the condition of the vessel, which was afloat as a result of wiring and buoys, official or er, officers determined Bellucci was conducting a, conducting a manifestly unsafe voyage. Officials said he refused to step off the vessel and threatened to kill himself. Jesus Christ. He also claimed that he had a bomb on board. What the fuck? Was he going to London to blow it up? Like, what What the... Why would he have a bomb on board? Jesus Christ. On September 1st, he eventually surrendered and abandoned his vessel after being brought to the Coast Guard base in Miami. What the fuck? Oh, I got you, Mike. So it was a freak out is what you were talking about. Zom 100's great, and that sounds like a great concert, Mustard. Glad you had fun. Do you still have tickets for the event? I'm pretty sure we still have some. I didn't check how many were left today, but I'm assuming there's still some left. It's a pretty big venue. There. I spam the link in chat. I'll pin it as well. Welcome aboard, Ponchi. And yeah, we talked about CM Punk the other day. I mentioned this before, but I'll mention it again since you brought it up. If there is any, like, students at local universities like UT, USF, UCF, Full Sail, whatever, in Florida, you do get a discount from the venue. They have, like, student discounts for the venue we're at. So it's $25 a day normally, and I don't remember how much the discount is. He is now facing federal charges of obstruction of a boarding and violation of a captain of the port order. That is a very cool sounding charge. It is unclear whether he obtained a lawyer to represent him in this criminal case. This was not Mr. Bellucci's first arrest for taking to the ocean in his vessel, which he calls the bubble. In 2021, he was arrested after being rescued while trying to ride from Florida to New York after drifting 30 miles south of his departure point. In 2014, he had to be rescued from a similar contraption near St. Augustine. And then two years later, he again had to be rescued off the coast of Jupiter near Palm Beach. He, he's, he's just a, a fan of the sea. He's no different than Luffy, but instead of a pirate ship, he's got a giant fucking hamster ball. The sea calls to him. It beckons. According to previous interviews, Mr. Bellucci said he was attempting voyages to raise money for a variety of causes, including for the homeless and the Coast Guard. How? Where's the money? Who? Where's the money coming from? Does he have like a tip jar on board? I don't know how he'd be raising money. Welcome aboard, Dina. Really appreciate that. Thank you, Insult. And... Probably wouldn't have a slapping team yet, but maybe down the line. Thanks, Roman. Did you see the rat that was shot with human cartilage DNA and it was and it grew a legitimate giant ear on its back? I'll check that out right after I finish reading this. Oh, that's wait, that's super cool. This was in 2016. Hold on. My goal is to not only raise money for homeless people, raise money for the Coast Guard, raise money for the police department, raise money for the fire department. They are in public service, they do it for safety, and they help other people. All power to you. It, you'd have to give me a lot of time to think about what the fuck, most fucked up thing in 2023 has been. It's been a lot. And no, I haven't seen the new Elden Ring DLC, but I definitely will play it. Jesus Christ, Jake. Really appreciate the fat hundred. Uh, I'm in Tampa, so it missed us. The hurricane went away from us, which was nice. We got lucky. He's raising money for his previous rescue bills. <laughs> actually, actually, maybe that might be the big play.
Really appreciate that, Jake. Thank you. Here. This is the rat with the human ear that grew on its back, which is kind of <laughs> epic, I guess. And it's not he's not alone. Apparently this is something called Vacanti mice. Oh no no, it was one. It's called the Vacanti mouse. It was a laboratory mouse that had what looked like a human ear grown on its back. The ear was actually an ear-shaped cartilage structure grown by seeding cow cartilage cells into biodegradable ear-shaped mold and implanting under the skin of the mouse with an external ear-shaped splint to maintain the desired shape. Then the cartilage naturally grew by, grew by itself within the restricted shape and size. The splint was removed briefly to take the publicity to take the publicity pictures which is very controversial. So what the fuck was this? I thought this was some kind of like experiment with human DNA, but it's a lot more weird and fucked up. Why, that is so odd. Why do that? Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of analog horror. I find most of it very boring. Hey, good luck to your football team. Oh, I loved Helsing Ultimate. Yeah, it was great. Making chimeras now. I guess so. I, I don't really see why you'd want a, an ear on a rat like a human ear on a rat but maybe there's a good reason still haven't seen berserk 1997 no not yet the bubble looks like some kind of animal trap you just don't understand technology. Welcome aboard, Seth. You see EDP's response to Gideon? Yeah, I did. I... Stunned. I, I, I can't even find the right words to describe the feelings of watching that. Just stunned. The Atlanteans speak through this man. He's compelled to wheel across the seven seas. That's what I'm thinking. You can't stop him. He'll do it again. This is his third time. He'll be back next year. What did EDP say? <laughs> Literally nothing. <laughs> like, all he did was just keep saying slurs... And that's it. Like, he was just very mad that Gideon caught him again. It, it, was, it was legitimately just nothing. Welcome aboard, Grip. Yeah, we just talked about that prison escape. Oh, well, saw the prison escape. <clears throat> Thanks, Frankie. The new Lego blind boxes suck. I'll take your word for it. Welcome aboard, Tomakins. And I don't know, I, I didn't play No Man's Sky since it got good. What's your favorite gamer sups flavor? Actually, titty milk. <laughs> titty milk goes hard.
You see that Florida man that got arrested for telling a playground of kids where babies come from? Oh, that's like that that is a classic. Yeah, this was this was a great one. This is classic Florida man shit. Florida man arrested after telling kids where babies come from. <laughs> and the mugshot here looks so good. So basically what happened is he climbed on top of some playground shit and he just started <laughs> shouting. And eventually said where babies come from. I don't know why. But it was pretty cool. Not all heroes wear capes. Yeah, I mean, he's just, he's educating, honestly. And to be honest, this is better than some Florida schools when it comes to education. So, hats off to him. He probably could have done it in some more scientific terms instead of yelling about pussy and all that, but whatever. What do you think of Play Dead Studios Inside and Limbo? Didn't play Inside, but really liked Limbo. Limbo was very good. Hey, well, congrats on graduating, though. That's still huge. Inside is so good. Yeah, I've heard nothing but good things about Inside. And if it's anything like Limbo, it's going to be amazing. Have you seen Metropolis 2001? Uh-uh. I don't know that one. Is it an anime? Because you mentioned Spirited Away. I'm guessing it is. <clears throat> did you see that... Did you hear that Tomatoes PR paid some critics for positive reviews? Wait, what? What are you talking about? Why would Rotten Tomatoes PR pay for review? Rotten Tomatoes itself doesn't get reviewed. What do you mean? Rotten Tomatoes under fire after PR firm scheme to pay critics for positive reviews uncovered. This is the least surprising thing I've ever heard in my life from this site. I know, I saw the Chris Chan pick. Unfortunate. I'm in Tampa for work. Some guy at Cypress Point called me a civilian and told me he is secretly a Martian. Yeah, that's just kind of normal here. Hope you're having fun. And now I haven't heard about the Adesanya thing you're mentioning there. I want to read about this. While film and television reviews ag aggregator Rotten Tomatoes has come under scrutiny by filmmakers like Martin Scorsese before, a new report doubled down, doubles down on why consumers may want to think twice before taking a re recommendation from the site. In an in-depth report published earlier today, Vulture uncovered a scheme from a PR firm called Bunker 15, actual fallout shit, to goose reviews for 2018 Daisy Ridley drama Ophelia. After initial reviews came in, resulting in a disappointing 46%, Vulture reports that Bunker 15 started paying low-level critics on the website to post positive reviews for $50 a pop, essentially trying to manipulate the system. The firm also lobbied one critic to change their negative review to positive. As it turns out, the scheme worked, and the money followed. Ophelia jumped up to a 62% rating, scoring that coveted fresh label, and the next month, IFC Films announced it acquired the film for distribution. Bunker 15, for its part, denied the allegations with founder Daniel Harlow telling Vulture, 
We have thousands of writers in our distribution list. A small handful have set up a specific system where filmmakers can sponsor or pay to have them review a film. If, you, if you're getting paid to review something, it's never going to be negative. That's why you can't do that for like a game review or a movie review or music review. You can do like a sponsored thing for it, but you can't you can't do a sponsored review for it. What the fuck? Welcome aboard Catalyst. If Moist wins ALGS, I'm getting a forehead tattoo of a clock. Hey, amen. If we win World Championship this weekend, we're all getting tattoos. Moist Esports tattoos. Although Rotten Tomatoes told Vulture that it takes the integrity of our scores seriously and does not tolerate any attempts to manipulate them, it's an alarming example of how easily critics aggregators like Rotten Tomatoes can be manipulated, especially when there's financial incentive to do so. I feel like everyone already knew that, though. It's the same thing with, like, Metacritic. Or Steam reviews, I guess. Have you seen the Crapodal trolling videos? No, I don't know what that... What is Crapodal? And yeah, we talked about that, Sebastian. You hear about the terrorist that escaped prison in the UK by strapping himself under a delivery van? Is that recent? Because I've definitely heard of an escape like that before. As Vulture Report notes, Rotten Tomatoes has become... Incredibly influential both within the business of Hollywood and from a consumer's perspective. When it comes to the former, the example of Ophelia is a fitting one. When the film debuts at festivals like Sundance as Ophelia did, companies monitor their reception to evaluate whether or not they should acquire those movies for distribution. Whether they're prioritizing commercial appeal or potential awards glory, how critics and other review or how viewers respond out of those initial screenings isn't without importance. I imagine this has been going on for a super long time. Welcome aboard, Caleb. I've been really enjoying it, Grim. Yeah, I'm sure we'll restock them pretty soon, Splat. South Tampa's always pretty cool, Tomekins. Fuck IGN, they gave One Piece a 6 and Cowboy Bebop a 7. Yeah, that was fucking crazy. Yeah, that was wild. I, I think IGN blew their load with a good take when they made that video about how game developers keep whining about Baldur's Gate being too good. IGN went way overboard with their decent takes quota with that one. That sounds miserable, Salmon. Welcome aboard. Dale go. <clears throat> you heard of Drac Dracula Flow 3? Yeah, it's the old guy. He's like, I'm smoking on Scooby-Doo dick. They must have amnesia because they forgot I'm him. Yeah, I know it. Aaron showed me it. Yep. We've talked about the Killer Bean game a lot. Thanks, Kareem. You getting Modern Warfare 3? Yeah, unfortunately. I will. Welcome aboard, Diego. You seen Megan Fox in Mortal Kombat 1? <laughs> yeah. Megan Fox is going big in that gamer sector. They're bringing back Nitara, and they have Megan Fox playing the character. Welcome aboard, Zola. Megan Fox and I'm 
voicing Natara. She comes from this weird realm. She is a it's type pretty of decent. vampire creature. Yeah, I mean, it's, she's evil, it is. But she's also good. It's just also, there's a 0% chance Megan Fox has ever played a video game in her life. She also did Diablo. She also did, um... God, what game did she do just before Diablo? Shit, I can't remember. She did one more before Diablo. So she's really capitalizing on the gamer sector right now. You seen they're making a new Chicken Run movie? No, that sounds hype though. Uh, she's trying to save her people. But I really like her. She's a vampire, which obviously... <laughs> resonates for whatever reason it's cool to be in the game you know because i'm not really just voicing it it'll be like she's kind of me did she do like the mocap i'll steal the and kill you with it you are welcome to try i imagine she did you outworlders believe yourself so superior as i've been doing the sessions, it does Mike. force me to like tap into areas of myself that I'm not comfortable. I'm hoping Baldur's Gate wins game of the year. Deserves it. I've had a lot of fun doing it, and it's caused me to like be more free with myself. What? What, what did that you mean? do with Jen's body? Playing this character allowed you to be more free with yourself? What does that mean? You'll never see her again. Mortal Kombat, it's just one of those staples. It's been around since gaming has been around. Not quite that long, but it has been, a, it has been around a long time. I think it's just like an opportunity that anybody would want. Because we did all grow up playing the game, and it is one of the greatest video games of all time. <laughs> Hey, you know what? Let it ride, Ed. Nether Realm's got a big, big pocketbook. Might as well flex it. I, I mean, I, she sounds fine in here. And this is a very cool character. I don't remember where she's from though. This isn't in a new character though. Natara has been in another Mortal Kombat game, but I don't remember which one. Deadly Alliance. Yeah, it was Deadly Alliance. What do you think about the accusations at Skittle saying all Skittles taste the same and that big Skittle is trying to cover it up? I can't say I know that one. And no, there hasn't been any crazy police chases recently. I'll look up the Israel Adesanya stuff real quick. Oh, what the fuck is this? Video of Israel Adesanya masturbating his dog still haunts UFC fans? Is this real? Or is this like some kind of meme? What? Anyone's better than Ronda Rousey voice acting? What is she voiced in? I tried to get into Doro Hidoro, but just didn't really get into it. Please tell me this isn't real. Israel Adesanya's dog fetish is too disturbing, even for Sean Strickland. No, there's no way this is real. This is probably some, like, this is probably like that old Bob Saget thing where he's like, um, Bob Saget was... Uh, convicted of murdering two people in 1995 don't let it distract you from that fact or something there's no way and I don't s all I see is Sean Strickland talking about it and linking to a YouTube video that is just like a bunch of clips so yes Appreciate the long time of watching Crazy Fox. Don't do that. 
Penguin, don't, do not do that. I'm assuming you're memeing, but just in case, don't do that. Oh my god, wait, what? I don't think I can pull this up on stream. There's nothing, like, shown here, but there is, like, a video that people keep linking to. Fans were eager, eagerly anticipating a showdown between Israel and Asanya. Long-standing rivalry. Started by making subtle references to a subject that might appear unconventional in relation to Adesanya. Initially, he shared a YouTube video of MMA guru that made assertions about Adesanya's interests, particularly related to dogs. In the video, the YouTuber presented information intended to substantiate these claims. Strickland then shared the video and expressed his astonishment by saying, Bro, please don't tell me this is... Or, Bro, please tell me this isn't real. So far, that's still like the only place it comes from is that YouTube video. So I'm gonna wait to see how all of that shit unfolds. Nope, actually, in April... It got uncovered then Jesus Apparently people are working on a dungeon master mod for Baldur's Gate 3 so you can do so you can build custom campaigns. Ooh, that'll be really cool. Look up the MMA guru for more context. Yeah, that's the video everyone keeps linking to in here. Like in these articles. Wow. Will we be buying Mortal Kombat 1 on release? Yeah, I will. I'll have to check this out later. This is the first I've heard about that. Not Mortal, not Mortal Kombat 1, the uh, easy stuff. Christ. What game would you recommend? Well, it depends on what you like. There's plenty of games I'd recommend. When's the next issue of Plague Seeker dropping? Should be end of the year. If not end of the year, the very beginning of next. There was a chase about a month ago where homie drove the Dodge van like NASCAR. <laughs> I must have missed that one. Clocks are pretty cool, Breezy. I've got two of them tattooed on me, so I am a fan. You remember when Megan Fox played Fortnite with DJ Khaled? Oh, that, was it Megan Fox? She was so overshadowed by DJ Khaled, I must have forgot. DJ Khaled is such a natural gamer. Let's let LG give you a bit of background on tonight's proceedings. Here, just listen to him. My wardrobe gotta be right. It's nice, but this nice too. The LG OLED is the ultimate TV for your gaming setup. No, just show me Khaled. Yeah! Khaled is unusually quiet. You're both really quiet, Megan. That's the thing. You're both in gamer mode right <laughs> but now, which I appreciate. I'm not unusually quiet. I'm always quiet. Okay. The Fortnite era was truly well, different. Khaled's it was. Pointly dwindling. Of course, it's now 24-16, but it's still there. DJ Khaled, are you still confident? Of course, brother, man. Like, I'm not, sorry. Not only just confident, you don't see the skill? <laughs> it's not gonna that goes on for an excruciatingly, excruciatingly long period of time. I love it, though. Anything Khaled touches is just amazing. It's just, like, actually amazing. He can't miss. And yeah, I did, Aiden. 
I haven't been keeping up with that one, Dakota, so I can't say I've seen it. Hey, I support it, Breezy. Do you remember his Overwatch performance? Could never forget. I remember every performance from DJ Khaled, even his private ones in his own home that he posts on, like, Snapchat stories. His fucking dancing is so good. You ever played Ghost Runner, and if so, what's your opinion on it? Oh, I love Ghost Runner. I'm super excited for the second one. I'm not a big fan of insects. They give me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> yeah, I guess, bet. Not wrong. Never forget when he got lost in the ocean. Yeah, we, we almost didn't get him back. The world would have been a much darker place without Khaled in it. Did you see the Ohio Mad Zebra that bit a man's arm off? What? Zebras can do that? Ohio man nearly loses an arm in a zebra attack. What the fuck? They always look so happy and calm. I hope everything goes well, Ash. We're all rooting for you. Absolute best of luck. Hope everything goes well. Best RTS ever. Can't find any good large-scale games. This is gonna make me sound like such a fucking idiot but one of my favorite rt well actually probably my favorite rts is halo wars and then right under that is starcraft 2 i loved halo wars man this game never got the love it deserved they made a sequel and i didn't really like it that much but man this was lightning in a bottle type shit this game went hard welcome aboard gabriel Welcome, Vibes. What about Command and Conquer? Command and Conquer's fine. It's not bad or anything. But I didn't like it nearly as much as Halo Wars or StarCraft. Oh, sweet. Thanks, Cody. Have you seen the Manhunt in PA? For the criminal that escaped, Looney Tunes style? I don't know, they're doing like a full-blown manhunt. What are they doing for it? They got everything on lockdown? It's been three days, they still haven't found him. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any new updates. Welcome aboard, Fever Dream. Yeah, I know Power Wash Simulator. Do you think the new Wonka movie will be good? No. I don't. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't think it looked very good.
What FPS game would you recommend? Single player or multiplayer? Single player, do Doom. I was thinking about Doom earlier today. That shit is so fun. Welcome aboard, Teresa. Whew. Favorite movies, The Mummy. Please, dear God, come up with some original IPs, Hollywood. They got a... Yeah, I can't think of a single <laughs> IP they've got coming out, actually. You got The Nun 2, which is out tomorrow. And who doesn't want more The Nun? So, I mean, who needs new IP when you got heavy hitters like this? I did not see him go live on TikTok, Ethereal. No, oh, sweet. Thank you, Fleb. Oh yeah, the first nun was abominable. The first nun is so shit. It's so bad. And yet, they're still making a second one anyway, which is great. I love that. I'm always happy when they do that. I like bad horror films. Am I Skittles or Eminem guy? Eminem's. I don't really like Skittles. Yeah, we just talked about the Florida man with the hamster wheel. Did you see the husband of the infamous black and blue dress woman murdered his mother? Yeah, we talked about that, which was crazy. This was a while ago. This was back in July. The guy who posted the black and blue dress tried to kill his mom. Or, wait, was it his mom? Wait, this says it's his wife. I thought it was his mom. Am I misremembering? The couple that sparked a worldwide debate over the color of a dress is now faced with allegations of domestic abuse and attempted murder. Oh, I guess it was his wife. Hey, no worries at all. Thanks, Christian. EDP got confronted live by his friend. Not surprising. Welcome aboard, Connor. We just did bad game night, and we ended up finding a really good game by accident. Have you tried rock climbing and bouldering? Love bouldering. I don't go at all anymore, but I used to go at least once a week with Andrew. But it's been a while now. You gonna play UFC 5 when it comes out? I'll give it a try. I won't get super into it, but I'll play it like once or twice. Can't say I saw that burrito. Thanks, Leland. Apparently a plane had to land because a dude had explosive shits. Yeah, the diarrhea plane. We talked about it already. Super unlucky for everyone on board. God bless whoever has to clean that mess. The Coffee City Police situation. Texas town has about 250 people. It has 50 sworn police officers. Is that it? Or no. Coffee City suspends police chief under investigation, I'm assuming. I I don't I don't know what this is about. F 
favorite band is Deftones. Favorite game with good character customization? WWE 2K. Will you be marathoning Alan Wake and Alan Wake American Nightmare to prepare for Alan Wake 2? I'll marathon Alan Wake, but not American Nightmare. I actually really didn't like that at all. Thanks, Peeper. American Nightmare was just really lame. Just bought Metallica tickets. Nice. Have fun. I'm not a huge Metallica fan, but I hope you have a good time. Do you think older music is better? No, I don't. A lot of people seem to think that music is dead nowadays if you like more obscure shit. I couldn't disagree more. Thanks to all of the leaps in technology, anyone, anywhere, any group, anywhere can produce exactly what they want without the need of a label to back them. So you have endless amounts of music at your disposal now. You can find anything, anywhere, no matter what your taste is. It has never been a better time to just be an independent artist. And people can find you far easier now than ever. So no, I don't think older music was better. I think music is only... Like, if you want to talk mainstream music, I like older mainstream music better than the more modern mainstream shit. Just because I think it was a lot more fun back in the early 2000s with their popular shit. It was, like, actually upbeat and, like, silly. Nowadays, it's all, like, sad boy emo shit because the whole vibe of American culture is, like, sad boy looking down and, like, kicking sand. So the sound reflects that. Which isn't super appealing to me. I like the more upbeat mainstream shit from the early 2000s. But overall, I think music is only better today than it's ever been. Welcome aboard, David. There was a riot in Stillwater. Over what? I'm doing alright. Hope you're doing well, Rigby. And thanks, Abaddon. Thanks for a long time of watching, Jason. Thank you, BB. Have you heard about the Romper Stomper? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't know they got interviewed, though. That was super cool. That is a pretty cool answer, Brandon. Hold on, yeah, I didn't know they already gave that person a name. This was an incredible porta potty fight. I don't. Can I pull it up on stream? I don't remember. I can at least show you the start. I don't. I don't think you can show like a real fight on YouTube. But basically, there's a bit of a scuffle at the porta potties. Okay. And then things escalate. Eventually, it gets taken into the porta potties, and uh, it, it's pretty impressive how one-sided the fight was. So I guess they gave the girl a name, Romper Stomper. Where's the interview though? I want to see that. Dave. Portnoy interviews the viral romper stomper girl. I didn't really realize that I cut in front. Of uh, this is like a full I didn't two minute really interview. Realize that I cut in front of this girl, and I walked into the bathroom, and my mom was standing outside the door, guarding the door, because this girl was pissed, like she was mad. So I hear this going on. I just walked out and saw two girls ganging up on my mom. So I just did what I think any daughter would have done. I just. Beat the 
them. I can't believe you've That's never been cool. in a fight. I've never done that. So you grab one girl by the hair, yeah. beat her up, throw her off the side. <laughs> then yeah. the other girl, you actually stuff her in the porta potty. And by the way, you do acknowledge a porta potty is like the grossest thing in the world. Uh, oh, right? it's foul. I mean, like, would I have ever. Well, good for her. She stood up for her mom and gave. <laughs> gave some other lady a fucking porta potty swirly. So you know that's coming with some dysentery on the back end there for sure. Maybe cholera. Thanks, Moo. And welcome aboard, Row and Spoon. <laughs> Threw hands with force. No, she she meant business for sure. And no, I haven't seen that drill. Hold on, I gotta pee real quick. Give me two seconds, I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Yeah. Oh, doing alright, Rigby. Hope you're well. Oh, that just repeated itself. You see the three-legged bear in Florida broke into a house and slammed two white claws. Legit broke into the mini fridge and got lit on a seltzer. Okay, hold on a second. Wow, three-legged bear named Tripod takes three cans of white claw from Florida family's backyard. Florida's having a great week. I love to hear that. Three-legged Florida bear raids poolside fridge for cans of white claw. You need to register. No. Where's the video? There's a video here, isn't there? Yeah, here it is. I've never been this close to a bear. Oh my god, there's a literal bear in our patio. Look how big he is. Oh, he, look, he just opened the door. Hey, he's just here for the barbecue. He's about to take the beer. He's about to take the beer. He yes. went over here to the fridge and got two white claws. But once I saw him open the fridge, I got scared. That no shot. The no shot he did this. What? Well, the, the, the video would absolutely show him slamming the white claws together like stone cold. There's no way. That's embellished. Uh, send something to Matt Sus. His his emails on the on the channel. Thanks for the gifted member, Duck. I appreciate it, Rigby, and hope things look up for you soon. And got two white claws. But once I saw him open the fridge, I got scared that he could open the doors to like the houses. I feel like I gotta lock all the doors now. Oh my God. Okay, I gotta go lock up my dog. Yeah, there's no footage of him grabbing the white claws. I feel like that part's just for fun. Yeah, we talked about that gender reveal party plane crash. The kid totally drank the white claws and blamed the bear. <laughs> Actually, genius plan. That is big brain. You hear about the cop, the cop that got caught having hanky panky on camera in his cruiser. Oh yeah, that was pretty cool actually. Just out in fucking broad daylight. Or how can I find it? Okay, it was a Maryland police officer. Now I found it. Police officer in Maryland seems to kiss and get into the police SUV with... What? Prince George County officer seen in videos seeming to kiss person get into police SUV with her suspended. Oh, that just needed another comma there. So he got suspended for getting in the police car with her. Yeah, they were going at it. George's county officer is off the job tonight, suspended while questions about this video you can see here from last night are being investigated. It appears to show the uniform officer paid vacation. Woman, then both yeah, get in the back seat. You can see here of this cruiser. Now, a man taped it all on his phone at a neighborhood park right next to Oxen Hill High School. Our <laughs> what the fuck? Why Andrews there? They're live and Marie, this video certainly has a lot of people talking tonight. They just, he slabbed up outside of a high school to have sex with her in his car. What a weirdo. Thanks, Abram. Hey, hope you enjoyed the new job on him. He probably was a campus cop. I, I guess. Maybe, yeah. Uh... I still love that everything addresses X as formerly known as Twitter, or just straight up Twitter. 
Such a disastrous idea to try and change it to fucking X of all things. I was like, oh my god, there's kids around here at the time, and all the time, and he didn't care, and it was not dark. He doesn't respect the uniform, he doesn't respect the police car, I can't believe that. FOP89 has been made aware of the videos circulating on the internet. We have no information as to the investigation of the videos or the officer involved as that's handled by the department's internal affairs division. We ask that our officer be given the same consideration that any other person would ask for and that you reserve judgment until all the facts are known and videos are put into context. What? I, he is on video making out, literally like sucking the lips off of her face. And then they go into the back seat of his police cruiser. What do you think happened back there? They didn't just go back there to keep smooching. What the fuck do you mean? In what context? What context? It's all just right there. He's just openly making out with her in public across the high school. Across from the high school. He was investigating her mouth. Yeah, I guess she had a bomb in her pussy. And his cock was the only thing that could defuse it. He actually ended up saving the whole school. It's like a speed situation and you had to keep your thrusts above four pumps per second in order to keep the bomb from going off in her vagina. Man's a hero. That's a crime, right? Like 100%? Having sex in broad daylight outside of a high school? Like, I guess you're in your car, but it's not, it's not like, it's private. You're still in front of the high school in public, having sex. Uh, just the chat side of things, anyone. That's the main one. Welcome aboard, Ian. I made a whole video on my thoughts on Starfield. Overall, I think everything in the game is good, but it's still a very boring game, because it's just the same Bethesda formula again, which I'm pretty tired of. Don't know what that means. Oh, that's just Star Wars quote. Body cam footage? <laughs> oh, wait, yeah. They need to release the body cam footage. Maybe that'll be all the context we need. Perhaps it was some kind of deep sting operation, and they go into the back seat in order to exchange information or something. I don't. Uh, I don't know. I really want to see the body cam footage now. We need the context. Hey, Gideon, good to see you again. Have a safe flight. Thank you, man. Such a fucking sweetheart. Play Pepsi Man again? There's not a whole lot left to play. Can't find where to get Critical's comics at? Oh, badegg.co. And thanks, Hero. Glad you like it. first only fans with police pov that would be big well since he gets he got suspended so maybe he will need to turn to only fans now let me see what the rest of the report says yeah definitely a lot of questions in regard to Thanks, this Dyson. video we do know that that officer is francesco marlette and this is not his first suspension now the incident happened right here in this parking lot at south not his first suspension is it for the same thing how many times does he fuck women on the job in his patrol car outside of a school? There's no way it's that common. There's no way they just keep letting him do it. Right? No shot. And yeah, that game was alright, Aaron. I appreciate it, Luke. Welcome, Joshua. Lawn Neighborhood Park, just a few feet away from a playground when this incident happened. I spoke to one mom who brings her kids here every day and she tells me this was inappropriate. I agree. I'm in shock right now. 
I can't believe it. That's how Norma Santos felt after seeing this viral video. A Prince George's County police officer appears to be kissing a woman, then they both get into- What do you mean appears to be? Hold on, let me get the unblurred version. What do you mean appears to be? It's not like they were just like pulling a quarter out from behind her ear or something. Like that was the sloppiest makeout session ever. That's like 15 brewskis deep at a dive bar. And you're like blurred making out with someone and just slobbering all over them. Where's the non-blurred version? Because that leaves nothing to the imagination. Here we go. He was conducting an oral swab. <laughs> yeah. You can even hear kids playing. God, that's fucking revolting. You know about Gordon Ramsay's porn star look-alike? That's, no, that's news to me. And agreed, Caleb. Very inappropriate. And yeah, I've watched that series, Oscar. That's a classic. And yeah, we just talked about the Israel Adesanya stuff. No, I haven't seen that video. What are you talking about? Which one did you find that you think is one of my old ones? <clears throat> is it on your channel? Let me see. Is it update 7 or... Possible Lost Penguin Z Zero video, Halo 3 glitches outside of Foundry Tutorial Forge. I did, okay, I did make a video on getting outside of Forge, or outside of Foundry in Forge. So if this is my video, I, I remember exactly what songs I used. I used Soil Works, Distortion Sleep in this one, and Corn. um, what's the one where he goes, What's that one? Does anyone remember? Does no one know that song? That's like the whole song? Twist! Thank you. Twist. So if this is my video, then it would have Distortion Sleep and Twist. It is not mine. <laughs> no. I can tell you immediately. Damn. Unless maybe they just replaced the audio? But why would they replace my audio? Yeah. I did make a tutorial on this. But I, I remember what songs I used and it was those. I would have never used this song because this is way too popular. I would have been way too afraid to. Especially back then with how DMCA was enforced where you get your whole channel taken down. So I would have never used this song. It is possible, though, that wherever you found this, someone re-uploaded it with that music. Because I did make a tutorial on this exact glitch. Check the, Check the description. Cruel Data couldn't tell if it was yours. Does this come from Cruel Data? Because that was a friend of mine on Xbox Live. I found the video on someone else's channel. Here's a link to the original. I think this may be a video stolen from Charlie for a few reasons. The person uploading the video says in the comments, Good thing it's not my glitch then lol. Indicating that this was his response to someone maybe criticizing the video and telling him it wasn't his. The music in the video seems like the type of music Charlie may have liked back then. Very wrong. <laughs> no. I've always liked really obscure metal and shit. Though, corn and... Soil work is not obscure by any means. He had many foundry glitch videos on his channel, and to date, and the date this was uploaded on the channel lines up with many of them. It would still have been on his channel. 
Someone could have downloaded it and uploaded it on their channel. The text on the screen resembles some of the text we see in his earlier videos, and the HUD color in the bottom right is the same color that we see in the screenshots of other Halo 3 glitch vids. Since there's no determining factors on whether or not this is one of Charlie's lost videos like a name, I'm left to specu speculate. Yeah, it's hard to know without the original music, because I don't exactly remember exact, like, exactly what I did in the video. I just remember showcasing how to do this glitch, and I remember the songs I had. But this is, it is possible that this is mine and they changed the music. How did you even find this? <laughs> this is actually a crazy find. I appreciate it. Well, thank you, Isaiah. I hope things look up for you soon. I'm wishing you the best. No, not true, Caleb. Yeah, we talked about that, Eli, with the gender reveal plane crash. No, I'm not doing a cover of corn. Why do you want those ancient relics? Because they, they'd be really nice to have back. I'd love to be able to get all my old videos back that I deleted. I had a few hundred that I deleted. Tons of Gears of War 1v1s, tons of Halo montages, Gears montages, AMVs. I'd love to get it all back. You seen orangutan boxing video? Yeah. Well, at least I think I have, based on that description. The Coffee City Police hires corrupt police officers. <laughs> Color me shocked. I'll check it out, though. All I saw was the police chief got suspended. Wear your glasses. Actually, thank you for the reminder. I know, I saw a dude. Very unfortunate. I really think this could be it, though. I really think what might have happened here is they downloaded my video and then put this song over the ones I used. Because the quality here is absolutely Dazzle Platinum. I feel like this is something I would have done as an 11-year-old. Or, uh, I would have been 13 at the time, I think. Yeah, I would have been 13. I feel like that is definitely something I would have done. Did you use emojis? Brother, emojis didn't exist when I was 13. We still had to be... Was that another one? We still had to be using fucking ASCII art. Where was that? I thought I saw another one. Maybe not. Yeah, to use emoticons unironically. It, it was a different time. It was truly a different time. I really do think this probably was mine. And they just took the music out for some reason. No, well, maybe not though. I don't think... I don't think I'm a too face kind of guy here. I feel like I'd use only one or the other. I wouldn't go back to back on little fucking goofball faces like that. Like, I don't think I'd do this and that. Welcome aboard, Skull. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that, Brian. That's fucking terrible. I appreciate the kind words and I'm wishing you the best. Call it primal. That's sweet. Thanks, obese. Uh, it's the thing that says join is what the member is. Good find, though. I, I, I'm just going to say it's probably mine. And they changed the music for some reason. 
So they, they took out the most important part of that video. <laughs> Whatever. Appreciate it. Thank you, Melissa. Looking forward to the event as well. Is this recorded on a phone? No, this was... Whoops. This was a Dazzle Platinum Capture Card. So back in the day, we didn't have things like Elgato. We had Dazzle. And then eventually Haphog. And then before that, we had Camcorder. And before that, we had direct-to-VHS recording. So this was a Dazzle Platinum. Thanks, Demos. And yeah, I saw the AI cover, Zach. I always wanted a Dazzle. Yeah, they were actually a very hot commodity when they came out. They used to be sold in Best Buy. Capture cards were pretty big. We found old videos. I think there's a chance this is one of my old videos, but it's impossible to know since the music is wrong in it. This is not the original song that I would have used. I couldn't use something like that. The song I used on my Foundry video that I remember is Soilworks Distortion Sleep and Korn's Twist. And then I also had another video on Foundry. It was a glitch montage and I used um, It's the End of the World as we know it. Look at the story of Donald Crowhurst. He was a British businessman and amateur sailor who disappear disappeared competing in the Sunday Times Golden Globe race. What about him? Is it just a wacky story? Give me the cliff notes. Whew. Hear about the waste management scandal? Which one? Here's a $1.8 $1 billion scandal. Here's a, another $1 billion scandal from the 90s. Never do the Halo 2 headlong blood gulch glitch, glitches? Yeah, of course. Absolutely. I had my own glitching clan. I used to do glitches on every game. The Bad Omens concert in St. Pete last night was awesome. Recommend seeing them live. Yeah. I actually really wanted to go to that, but I was way too tired. Just saw one of your old montages, didn't know didn't know you played Gears of War. I used to be in the clan FYCN and played with Iceman 804 and like butter all the time. Yeah, what a crazy time. I remember all that. What gamer subs flavor do you recommend? Right now my favorite one's Titty Milk. So if you haven't tried that one, I'd say that. Welcome aboard, Robert. I remember now we're just going down memory lane here. I remember back in the Gears Award days, I played with Iceman one time, and I was, I think, 12 at the time, because it would have been right before Halo 3 came out when Gears montages were still popping. And he started talking about how he had sex with a girl, and I thought it was the coolest thing I ever heard in my life. I couldn't believe it. A guy playing a game had sex with a woman. My mind was fucking blown listening to it. That was the only time I ever played with him. And for some reason, I still really remember that. Is 
It was the $1.8 billion one. Apparently all parties involved in the scandal got no jail time, just a six-figure fine. Yeah, it sounds corrupt. Sounds about right. Thanks, Caesar. What a great core memory. I remember so much from the Gears Award days, man. That shit was special. That that made me a man real quick. Did you ever finish Alien Isolation? Yeah, great game. And doing alright. Hope you're doing well, Christopher. My group was one of the first on Bungie Net to post the Banshee headlong glitch and sword jump to the top of the map. My boy John Shu was active. That's so cool. Good shit. Thanks, Devin. Thoughts on South Park? I used to love it. I haven't watched it in a long time. I'm sure it's still fine, but I haven't watched it in a while. No, none of my old videos... Well, I, I guess I can't say none. I don't think pretty much any of my old videos will ever actually be recovered. It was hundreds. I feel like it'd be very unlikely. They've done a great job even finding some of the more recent deleted ones from like 2010. But all of the ones pre-2010 will never be recovered unless YouTube themselves does it. The, the only one that many of you probably have never seen is one of the first videos I posted on my channel. It still exists in archive.org. And this channel posted it. Where is it? Like I said, I used to use my channel to post unsigned rapper's music. <laughs> Where the fuck is it? Didn't you post it here somewhere? I watched the documentary and it was in there. I thought you had a standalone video for it. Let me just go to the documentary then. It is a great documentary. You, you guys fucking crushed it here. Yeah, some of the old some of the old sniper battles. Where the fuck is my first video? Well, not my first one, but one of my first ones. Hey, glad I helped you with the Hayabusa armor. I don't know what that is, Nathan. Before talking about the one Where I should start singing. I don't want it, any DMCA popping up. I thought you, I thought you had it as a standalone video, but now I can't find it. Yeah, facade's still a classic. Yeah, of course you can, Cody. That'd be cute. Then yeah, the Killer Bean game. I am excited for, just a little nervous for. Maybe he deleted it. Oh no, it's on a different channel. I thought I thought you posted it. But here, let me check. Ah, uh, yeah, here it is. Which one is it? <laughs> Where the fuck is it? Why am I having such a hard time finding it? Thanks, Dominic. Because he's this channel had like a lot of the titles and shit, but they were non-functional for the most part. 
So like, I did a lot of Devil May Cry 4 tutorials as well on like boss fights and shit. Back when I was mob o insane o. Here it is, here it is. This is one of the first videos I posted on my channel. So the first video I ever posted on my channel was a, a magic trick I did. And then after that I started posting unsigned rappers music. So this one is Roosevelt's I'm Fresh. I'm fresh. And I just took Google images that were the top result for the day and I posted, or the top trending for the day and posted it to the song. This was the start of my channel. Oh, you can't even see. Uh, hold on. I just noticed my, what, my face cam is blocking it. It's just literally whatever was popular on Google Images that day. So that was the whole thing. That's all I did. <laughs> I just kept taking all of the uh, unsigned rappers' music and top trending Google Images and posting them on my channel. I would have been 11 going on 12 when I was doing that. Or no. Yeah, no, uh, actually I think I was 12 going on 13 when I was doing that. And it worked, got views. Man, fuck no, what? <laughs> no, of course not. No, it did not. As hard as it is to believe, no one was clicking on the video titled I'm Fresh, and then the thumbnail was just auto-generated picture of either a penguin shitting or a rubber duck. If you can believe that. They only had around 32 views. That's a lot more than I thought they had. Have you seen the video? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy that did the nair butthole and then how to shave your pubes. Yeah, I'm very familiar. And yeah, we were talking about the uh, escapee earlier, Noah. Thanks, Caesar. They're not there, Gabe. Predates all of that. Thanks for the 20 OTPHJ. About when did you delete the videos? 2010. 2010 I did a massive purge of hundreds of videos due to copyright music and some of them I was just ashamed of. <laughs> they were just embarrassing. But it was mainly because of the music. I didn't want any like strikes or anything for music. 2010 was a different time on YouTube. I miss it so much. I wish I had just downloaded all of them. Kept them. My dad always tried to teach me that if you get rid of things, you can never get them back and you'll regret it later in life, but I never believed them. So I deleted all of my old YouTube videos, I got rid of all of my old video games, got rid of all of my favorite, like, um, toys, all of it. Got rid of almost all of my Yu-Gi-Oh collection from when I was a kid too, and Pokemon. I just really regret all of it, my dad was right. Every time. Every time I was going to get rid of something, he's like, you really shouldn't. Just let us put it in a box. And I was like, no, Dad, I'm, I'm an adult now. I'm, I'm 14. I don't need Pokemon cards. I've outgrown them. I'm going into high school. God. I, I missed that shit so much. I had so, I had so many cool things that I got rid of. Ugh. No, I already tried communicating directly with YouTube over the last, like, four years to try and recover my old videos, thinking that they might somehow be on, like, an old service, but they're not. YouTube has made it very clear that's impossible. They were deleted 13 fucking years ago, and the videos themselves were uploaded in 2007 to 2009. 
Well, yeah, 2009. So there was no chance. They're never coming back. I would legitimately need a goddamn time machine. Appreciate it. Well, thank you, Andrew. Your dad's still gaming a good bit every night. Is your dad able to beat Doom? He hasn't played much Doom. He's mainly been into iRacing and World of Warships. Those have been his two main games. Game Boy Advance was fucking huge. Yeah, that was a fun one. Hi, Adolis. A kid died from the one chip challenge recently. Oh yeah, I saw that headline. Yeah, the TikTok one chip challenge death. I didn't know the one chip challenge became a TikTok trend. But yeah, that is tragic. That's sad. What was the cause, though? The 14-year-old died unexpectedly due to the complications from the one-chip challenge. Uh, they don't know exactly what it was yet. Yeah, that is just awful. He ate 16 of them? Where are you seeing that? Wait, is that in the article and I missed it? Doesn't say anything about that here. Unless that's what the challenge is on TikTok. Yeah, I don't see anything like that. I think he only ate one. Yeah, probably. It must have been like some kind of maybe like allergic reaction and his throat closed up or something. Because I don't think capsaicin itself can just cause something like that. It can cause like stomach bleeding and ulcers, but I don't know about just like outright killing somebody. I guess maybe like a heart attack or something. Could that be a lawsuit? It depends on the autopsy, I guess, but probably not because there are warnings all over it that it needs to be kept out of reach of children. Someone in chat mentioned that earlier, Mustard, but that, I didn't even look that up. That's just fucking heinous. I've done the one chip challenge before. It's fucking miserable. It's not like a a spice burn. It's like an acid burn. When Matt and I did the one chip challenge, he actually got like sick from it. Because like it's it's like acidic powder they use, not even like real pepper anything. We suffered less doing like the psycho serum or like just a, a raw Carolina Reaper. Have you seen Rebel Moon trailer? Yeah, I saw it. It seemed fine. Didn't seem bad or anything. Mm. 
Yeah, no, it was miserable. It's not easy. The one chip challenge is fucking tough. This is absolutely horrible that that happened to him. No, I can't spread my cheeks. You hear about the guy that broke into a prison and lived in the walls for three months before he was found? And then what, arrested? It's where he wants to be. Let me see. No, I don't see anything about that. You gonna play Mortal Kombat 1? Goddamn right. I've been to Jacksonville a couple times. It's alright. Nothing special. You guys have a really cool spot called Wits, though. Jacksonville's got this banging custard place called Wits, and it is incredible. There is no better frozen treat than Wits Custard. But other than that, yeah, Jacksonville is just like kind of normal. What do you mean, Will? Yeah, he he plays iRacing all the time and World of Warships. He's been recent. My dad's been really into building models recently, so he's been making like little model cars and airplanes and stuff. It's really cool. What do you mean, Smack? The director's cut isn't released when I do moist meters. I see what's in the theater. And no, it does not feel like cyberpunk at all, Snuff. Does he build model Gundams? I tried to put him onto that. I tried to get him involved in making, like, Warhammer minis, but he he's not willing to take the plunge into Warhammer lore. He really likes old cars and planes, so he's been focused on that. And they, they do look very cool. Is God Slap worth reading? I mean, you're asking the guy who who made it. I think so. I mean, you can read it for free on certain places if you want to just take the plunge and see if you like it, and then maybe you want to own the physical one. It's 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 a pretty low barrier to at least try, if you are curious. You hear about the TF2 incident on August 27th? No, I don't know what you're referring to. What happened in TF2 on August 27th? Birthday mode? It's the only thing that came up here. Oh, 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 I see. It was the pyro stream. I see what you're talking about. That was like a year ago. I thought you meant like two weeks ago. Favorite Slipknot song? Wait and Bleed. Oh, no, I only review things that are new smack. I don't do, like, the retroactive moist meters or anything. So it's just whatever goes to theater. When's the next MWL coming? I was going to post it today, but then decided I'll just post it tomorrow instead. So I'll post it tomorrow. <laughs> or maybe Friday. We'll see. Either tomorrow or Friday.
Did you see the streamer who leaked private keys and lost 60k crypto? Yeah, I did. Classic crypto bro L, unfortunately. It was actually pretty fucking sad. I didn't even know you could just get it through only private keys. Usually people keep that on like a cold storage or something. I'm, oh my god, I'm not turning off my fucking ad block. Many thoughts on St. Pete? That's yeah, fine. And probably. It's always fun when he comes on. Thanks for the tin, bitch. I'm not insulting you. That's, it's, 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 that's, that's his actual name. And yeah, I looked into it, Adonis. If you would play any Game Boy on Game Boy game on stream, which would it be? Probably a Pokemon game. It's like the only one that would be fun for stream. I like some of the old Game Boy games still, but they're not exactly fun stream games. At least Pokemon, there is a lot of versatility there for it. And yeah, I probably will, McLaren. Don't really have one, John. Just Redkin. Emerald or Fire Red would be a great choice. Leaf Green's my favorite Pokemon game. You seen what's been going on in the Batman Arkham subreddit? Nope. What's happening? The Arkham games are 80% off. <laughs> Is that You could have just told me that. I don't know why I needed to go to the subreddit for it. Cool. Would you play a GBA Metroid game? Probably not. Not on stream. I just stopped liking that, Christy. It just didn't feel right. You see the rumors on Twitter that GTA 6 will be $150? I don't know why anyone fucking believes that. It was $130, I think is what they said. But I don't know why anybody would believe that. That's clearly a nothing burger. That's never going to happen. It was just a single tweet that said that. I do like Metroid. And probably Metroid Prime Rev. And yeah, we went over the bowl on in the car and the guy getting a ticket for it. Thanks, bro. Have you seen Super Crooks? No, I have not. Yeah, we talked about the Smash Pro with the drinking driving thing. I, I have no tolerance for drinking, driving, or anything like that. Drunk driving, drinking, and driving, all of it's fucking awful. So I, I, it's hard to feel bad for him getting banned for it. Holy shit. Thank you for the huge drop, Milky. God damn, thank you so much for the big drop. I seen the robber that was so bad he got emotional support from the store he was robbing. Uh, I... 
I guess it depends on what you classify as emotional support. I saw a robber who got trapped in the store he was robbing and the people felt really bad for him. So they started taunting him. Well, not taunting him. They started talking to him. Really appreciate the generosity, Milky. That's fucking wild. And no, GTA 6 is not going to be over $100. It's not happening. Thanks, username. And probably not. Probably won't do a tier list on that. I will be playing the Cyberpunk DLC. I really want to see this robber getting emotional support, though. But I don't know what else to type to find it. Did they encourage him through the robbery? Well, the one I'm thinking about, no. They were just talking to him, kind of shaming him for it more than anything. Maybe try robber crying to cashier. 7-Eleven workers beat would-be would, would be robber until suspect starts crying. Probably not that one. Oh my god, Milky, what the fuck, man? I really appreciate that again, Jesus. All right, let's try robber phone store. Is it? I don't think it's this one though, because this is a full-blown fight. It's definitely not emotional support. And then there's this one that I'm talking about, where they start laughing and shaming him for robbing them after he gets trapped. It's not this one, right? Because this is a far cry from emotional support, I'll tell you right now. Welcome aboard, Enderwolf. And no, nothing new, Price. Yeah, this one is a classic. It's definitely not emotional support, it's just people gather around to laugh at them. This is a, this is the pho a phone store. He said it was a phone store. What the fuck? It, open your eyes. It, this is a phone store. <laughs> it's right there. Yeah, Jujutsu Kaisen's great. Yeah, then it's just them taunting. I keep saying taunting. Talking to him. It's not really emotional support. I, I don't think it's this one that he's referring to, but I can't find any of the other ones that it might be. Most of them are cashiers fighting back. Which is also hype. Oh, there's also this one, which is a classic. I appreciate it, Misha. Have you seen the War of the Worlds in the making? What do you mean? Toss? What do you, what do you mean, Toss? This isn't Toss. This is, uh, this is the one I'm thinking of. Let me double check. Basically all that happens is everyone runs out and then they lock the door behind them and he's stuck. And then eventually he starts really freaking out about being stuck here and starts praying. Yeah, I don't know what would we toss about this.
But I don't think this is the one he's talking about anyway. Because they don't give him emotional support. Unless you, unless I guess maybe Jesus answered his prayers. IRL door stuck meme. Yeah, I guess. Appreciate it. Thank you, Dragon King. God damn, Milky. The huge drops. It's neither of these. They even start to call the baby. What does that mean? They start to call the baby. How would you call a baby? They don't have a phone. <laughs> what do you mean? Or do they call a baby to come over here and give them like emotional support? Like you can't be mad. There's a baby here. Really appreciate the generosity. You seen the bank robber falling into a trash can from the ceiling and getting stuck. What? No, I haven't seen that either. This is brand new. This is from a month ago. Hey, by all means, get get some get some brews going, man. Thanks for the ten. I, I can't find what Milky's referring to. I've typed in every variation of robber emotional support. Like, uh, I'll type, I'll try baby this time, I guess. I'll do robber emotional support baby. Phone store. Milky about to reveal he's the burglar of the store. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a crazy twist. The framing on this shot right here makes me believe he's gonna fall through this, but this feels like way too sturdy of a ceiling to fall through and land in this recycling bin. Oh, there's like a... A hatch there. Interesting. Surprise. They start calling the robber baby and sweetie telling him that it's gonna be okay. So Apple Store... Okay, I'll, I'll find it, Milky. The perfect ambush. On the ground, oh, 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 the ground. Get out. Get out. Get out. <laughs> the officer was waiting for the perfect jump scare. That was really amazing timing. Got him with that Blumhouse special. Excellent work, officer. Okay, let me go back to trying to find Milky's. Welcome aboard, Jay. Oh, I've been down that rabbit hole many times, Edgy. Oh yeah, I, I like Osu a lot. Let me see. Um... Maybe this one, robber gets locked in an app Apple store. No, there's no audio here. So I don't think it's this. Oh, I, why did this even come up? They just successfully robbed it and ran away. They didn't even get stuck.
Well, this story came up that sounds kind of cool. Serial burglar in a million dollar crime binge caught because of Apple AirTag gets six years in prison. Damn you, Apple. Welcome aboard, Red Sox. And yeah, I did see that, Shub. Thanks, Mula. I don't, I don't see anything about robbers getting stuck in a store and getting emotional support. All the robbers I know that got stuck in the place they were robbing were the ones that I just pulled up. Robbery is legal in California? What was that? They, they did just pass something. It's not robbery being legal. It's not like the purge or anything. But it was like, any theft under a certain amount will no longer even be pursued at all or some shit. Which was a, it was a crazy, it was a crazy ruling. And it was like, if anyone tries to impede an active robbery, you will get in trouble for trying to stop them or some shit. Fuck, I forgot all the particulars. I saw it the other day, though, which was a wacky ruling. No, I don't think I can do that, Caesar. He was never stuck. Also, I think it was T-Mobile. He wasn't stuck. Okay. Robber, T-Mobile... I don't even... I'll just do Robert T-Mobile. Three wanted and shocking takeover of a T-Mobile. Crazy takeover robbery in Orange. It was all caught on camera. It had cameras inside. It was in. There were lots of... No, they just Two successfully steal were... everything in the T-Mobile store, so probably not that. Youth arrested in a T-Mobile employee's killing. Definitely not that. Brazen robbery at T-Mobile. It's not at this... this I don't think. think from combination and the ongoing. Yeah, it's definitely not that. Atlanta nail salon robbery where everyone ignored him. Oh, that's that's also a great one. That's actually probably exactly what it is. I think that's what Milky's thinking of. This is 100% what you're thinking of. Because this was great. No one took him seriously. So basically, Goofball comes in here trying to rob the place. No one cares. Everybody, get down! Give me all your money! It's got the money! Give me all your money! Get down! Hello? Where's the money? <laughs> give me the money! Where's the money? Everybody, give me everything! Where's the money? It could have gone worse, to be honest. Like, that's not bad. It's like a little random event in an MMO. But no one engaged with the side quest. That has to be what you were thinking of, Milky. That's like the only thing that almost fits your description. Hey, well, wishing you the best, Sam. I appreciate the kind words. No, it was filmed from a customer. It was a thousand in CA. Oh, okay. So it was under a thousand. Gotcha. Fuck, man. I have no idea then. I have no idea. That's a Destiny 2 public event. Yeah, pretty much. He just looks so defeated. He's like, man, I hyped myself up in the mirror for like 30 minutes. He's I, I really thought I was ready for this, and it is not going the way I envisioned. Ooh, really appreciate the 50 dragon. You're going to make Plague Seeker and God Slap into animes. Yeah, that's the long-term plan. We do have something huge on that front with God Slap in the works, but I can't talk about it yet, I don't think. But I'm very excited to when I can. Plague Seeker is still a little too new to start getting that kind of anime cooked up, but... Down the line, that is the plan there. Welcome aboard, Keshup.
It's called Store Owner Tired of His Place Being Robbed Sets a Trap with Music. Okay, let's see. Store Owner Tired of... Oh, this... I've seen it. I've seen this one. I made a whole video on this one. This one is amazing, but he doesn't get emotional support from anybody. He just gets stuck in here, like, all night. Hey, good shit, Benjamin, I guess. Yeah, it's definitely not this one. But yeah, this was during the rabbit hole where I watched all of the robbers falling through ceilings, or robbers getting stuck. So I've seen this one. I think most people have seen this one. I guess maybe it could be this one, because I think when the authorities do get here... No. There's still no audio, so it wouldn't be this one. Yeah, I made a video on that one. I don't, I don't think that's the one he's thinking of. Thanks for the 10 guy. Robber gets locked inside a cell phone store in New Jersey. Crowd gathers to laugh. No, that's the one we just pulled up a minute ago. And he said it was filmed from the, con the customer's point of view. Yeah, this is the one we watched earlier. One that we've all seen. And yeah, I just saw that one, Nicholas. That's right here. I, I just don't know which one. I, I don't know what you saw. <laughs> I, I have no idea what you saw. You're about the two men who scammed Uber Eats out of a million? Yes, we did talk about that. I wish you the absolute best with it, Bammy. I hope everything goes well. I hope the treatment's super effective. I think it's on TikTok. Well, I don't know how I'd find it if it's on TikTok. That'll be much more difficult. Have you seen the video of the thieves that stole six Dodge Hellcats from a car showroom in under 30 seconds? Holy shit. That's pretty impressive. I'm not doing that, Fire Beast. Oh, that was easy. I don't know why I thought it would be something deeper than that. It was literally just getting in and starting them. I don't know why you would put the keys in this building. That was easy. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, what's it called, Katie? Because I can't click any of that, so you just got to tell me what the name is. Did you hear about the drunk guy who called the police on himself because he was driving in the opposite direction? What the fuck? Video shows drunk driver calling cops on himself while driving the wrong way. What a interesting scheme. Oh my god. I am so tired of you making me do this USA Today. For some reason, it does, doesn't make me do it over here, though, so. 911, where is your emergency? Uh, I'm on Highway 77 going north, and there is somebody that is on the wrong side of the road. And then, uh, did you see what color or type of vehicle it was? 
No, he had his brights on, man. He almost <laughs> ran me off the road. Which lane? Which direction is he in? North or south? I am going. I am going northbound on 77. He was going southbound. I am on the east lane. He was on the west lane. Okay. You, uh, could you tell if it was a car, truck, or SUV or anything? It looked like it looked like a truck. Okay. But that dude, he almost hit me. So I was like, holy. <laughs> What a good Samaritan. He's just looking out for the safety of everyone on the road. No, you're good. I was just like, holy Deputies know so they can go try to locate the vehicle. Yeah, that was gnarly. That was, like, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you know why I stopped you? Yeah, because I was on the wrong side of the road. Yeah. Is there a reason for that? No, but I, I, I must have missed an exit. Missed an Well, they would have absolutely caught him, even yeah. without him calling yeah. on himself with the self-report. Right? I feel like I I feel like they would have caught him. Regardless, they would have seen him. Appreciate it, this guy. It, it's the thing that says join is what the member is. Have you seen the 7-Eleven beatdown? Gets beaten silly by the workers. Depends on which one. That's happened a lot. And that one's a classic, Luke. Everyone's seen that woman fall through the ceiling at the gas station. I don't know about that, Will, but there's plenty of great places to play ball. So what was the, the one you think you found for Milky? What's it called? Stubborn guy tries to steal iPhone in Apple Store NYC. Oh, I think this is, this matches this matches Milky's description. I think I think you're onto something. Is this it, Milky? <laughs> this is probably this is so embarrassing. Baby, just go, honey. Just go. This, this is the one, 100%. It's gonna be alright, just go. Honestly, take their advice, just get the fuck out of there. You are making no progress here. God, it's it's so sad. It's like watching a man struggle to open a jar of pickles. It's heartbreaking. Just leave. Just leave. <laughs> Why do you keep trying? You failed the strength check. Oh, God. Yikes. I wonder how long he stayed. He probably stayed there struggling with it until the cops arrived. Why doesn't he just steal the phone of the person recording? Oh, he's... He's not a jerk. Okay? Welcome aboard, Ashley. As Buzz Lightyear once said, you're a sad, strange little man. Yeah, fair. True. Looked like he was trying to pull out Excalibur. I really wish that the, the lady filming... Where did that go? Why did that? Okay, whatever, I'll just bring it up again. I really wish the lady filming gave us the other side view. I want to know what it looked like. I want to know how he was struggling that much. I imagine it looked just like this, but if you just yank really hard, I bet you could break that shit right off. Apple stores get robbed every day with seeming with seemingly no resistance. So I don't know how he didn't get this. Thanks, Meow. 
Drew Abaddon. That makes that, that's probably what it was. They're bolted down. Yeah, but just because they're bolted down doesn't mean you can't rip that shit right off. It happens all the time with Apple stores. We just watched one where it happened with an Apple store within 12 seconds. So if you're strong enough, you can do it. That's cute, Dell. Should have brought his multi-tool. I don't even what the what the fuck multi-tool would even be useful on that. Of course, I listen to Zilakami. Yeah, you might be onto something with that, Nicholas. They don't react because the display phones don't function. Is that true? I hear that a lot, but I feel like if that would if that was true, people would stop stealing them. <laughs> like, what can you even do with them? I'm gonna look it up. Why am I having a hard time finding something that just says yes or no? All the, I'm only getting answers on what they do with the phone displays when they're done with them. Oh, they scrap it for parts. So yeah, while the, while the phones themselves can't really be used, I guess the reason people steal them is because they can be scrapped for parts. Thanks, Quarter. I know, Chris Chan is back. Welcome aboard, Yoro. You see the video where the guy burned down a Ferrari? Uh, probably. If you're talking about whistling diesel, it's the only thing that comes up for burning a Ferrari on purpose. Good luck, Terminal. Hope you do well on the exam. It was whistling diesel. It was whistling diesel in Urban Rescue Ranch. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. hear about the guy who was arrested for flushing fake poker chips worth 2.7 million down the toilet clogging the pipes of the casino whoa nope prison time for man who flushed fake poker chips down the Atlantic City toilet this is from 2015 what made you think of that He pled guilty to second degree counterfeiting and criminal mischief. I know, Captain Lamp. I, I can't believe Chris Chan's back. And nope, there hasn't been anything new on that one, Owen. Dude, 2015 is almost 10 years ago. I know. It's so painful to think about. It is crazy how fast time moves now. It is a very real phenomenon. The older you get, the faster time moves. When you're young, like when you're like a kid, a year feels like a whole eternity. Because when you're like 
shit, like 10? A year is such a large portion of your existence so far. Once you start getting into your mid to late 20s, oh god, it just... It's so brutal how quick it goes by. Thanks, fire. Are you talking about the live-action One Piece snow? Because my favorite character in live-action One Piece was Mihawk. It was done really well. Shrek came out in 2001. Yep. Car chase where suspect finally gets pulled over and pulls out a Legoland ID. Dangerous driver of wild car chase whips out Legoland ID. <laughs> Hold on a second. He might be on to something. Legoland permitted him to drive. Who are we to question their decision? UK driver arrested for reckless driving had officers in stitches after producing a license from Legoland. The driver was... Is there video footage of this? It's that old bastard Brickbeard again. He wasn't satisfied with just con with conquering all of the sea. Brickbeard wants to take control of the land now too. Appreciate the tin, Chad. <laughs> yeah, I saw Rev. It was unfortunate. I would love to see this police chase, though. A Legoland certified driver is probably really impressive. I'm imagining drifting around corners, fucking getting that bitch up on two wheels. Yeah, no, EDP is n never going to get a job. Not happening. Have you heard the story of Travis Walton abduction? It sounds super familiar. The Travis Walton UFO incident. Which one is this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this guy. We went over his story. We've gone over most of the major alien abduction stories. I love that shit. Whew. Thanks, Gavin. Two people are arrested in China today for punching a hole through the Great Wall with an excavator. Well, it was probably an accident. There's 50,000 more miles of Great Wall to go. I'm sure it's fine. Alright, I'm getting kind of tired now. Thanks, JPEG. Please find loaded weapon in man's butt after strip search. It happens all the time. Yeah, this is from 2015. I actually remember this one. My Google search to find it was suboptimal. I just typed in weapon ass police. <laughs> but we got there. Thanks for the gifted member, Paradise. I appreciate that. Thank you, Aaron. Hope you're doing well these days. No, I don't know who Bobcat is. But that sounds like some goofy Australian type shit. That you guys have some wacky people in power over there doing some weird shit. 
They said they wanted a shortcut through the Great Wall. Oh, so they actually broke the hall, the broke a hole in the Great Wall on purpose for a shortcut. Work smarter, not harder. Can't even really be mad, can you? <laughs> Alright, I think we'll go to bed. Alright. Thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate the generosity. Hope you all have a good rest of your evening. Sleep well. And I will see you all tomorrow. Take it easy, everyone. See you tomorrow. And thanks again.